Hello. Hey guys, Fly Girl VSG coming into you with my week 117 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I got um, my camera, my um, laptop rebuilt, and I'm a little confused as to the light. Oh, wow. Uh, a little confused as to the lighting. Um, so I'm sorry ahead of time if it's not bright enough. I'm kind of messing with this as we talk, but, um, oh, well, that's all I have to say about that. So I won't take any of your time about it, but it, it, it is strange. Um, it, it, it looks a ton different. So, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so week 117 uh, post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. I um, am also doing my 12 weeks to Nashville um, countdown update, which are pretty much one and the same at this point. Nothing much to report. Um, but I, I don't have a um, – I should do a wedding video topic, though. Maybe I'll do one of those later. Tomorrow, tune in tomorrow, I have a beach body video. I feel like a teacher. I have a beach body video I'm going to make because I got awesome effing stuff going on this month. Um, but it's almost the end of the month, and so, like, my March Challenge group is starting, and I want to talk to you guys about that, but I'm not going to do it here. So, um, week 117, 12 weeks left in Nashville. That does not bode well for me when you hear my stats, just so you know. Um, you can't even tell that I'm wearing, like, oh, I want to show you my outfit. Can you guys see my pants? So, um, Gretchen VSG has these same pants, and, um, they're, like, super jiggly, and it's probably the most least flattering thing I've got, except for, look at that, that's my butt, pretty awesome, um, least flattering pants I have, but I like them anyway, the lighting on this is just so weird, what if I did this and put you in my lap, do you guys prefer to be in my lap, now there's shadow, I should just start this over again, this is ridiculous, what the fuck, okay, moving on, did I just spend two minutes talking about shit? I did. I'm not starting over. I don't have time. Okay, so um, surgery with Dr. J. Jan, December 5th, 2013. Uh, Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital, two-week pre-op diet, 301.2. Weight and day of surgery at one, 198 point. Yeah, right. I wish. 291.8. I weighed in last week at 204.8. I weighed in today at 202. 2.8 pound loss. Woohoo! What that means, though, is I still have 21 pounds to lose in 12 weeks. That is just just under two pounds a week. So um, I'm going to experiment with some things diet-wise over the next um, couple of weeks. I am drinking about a gallon of water a day, which is about 130 or so ounces. Um, but I'm going to kind of – I know I talked about carb cycling. I have not quite gotten into the point of committing to that yet. I, I, I really don't believe in low carbing. I just, I want to believe in it, but I just, I just don't. Um, because I work out so hard, I know a body needs carbs to work out. I also know some bodies don't want carbs to lose weight. Um, but you know, I was eating carbs and eating fat and maybe I'm a low fat person. Maybe I need to to eat less avocados and eat less hummus and, and keep that to like one or, you know, one or two servings a day instead of like four, you know, because I cook a lot with oil and butter and, you know, like I don't worry about fat. I do not buy low fat foods. I also don't believe in low fat foods, but because it's full of chemicals and shit. And I think that's bad for you. Um, but I do eat a lot of avocado, a lot of hummus, a lot of um, cheese, not a lot of cheese, but definitely cheeses in my diet. And then I cook a lot with oil and butter, coconut oil, olive oil, butter, and I'm generous with those things on salads and whatever. So um, maybe I just have to really be like, okay, the recipe calls for one tablespoon. I'm going to use one tablespoon and not just be like glug, glug, glug on the, in the frying pan. Or, um, you know, if I'm going to eat a half an avocado, that's kind of all I get. Or, you know, measure out a teaspoon of butter, something like that to, to use on a whatever. So those kinds of things. I don't know. I'm just going to experiment with that. 
Um, I, I'm not convinced carbs are my issue, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I've not really paid attention in terms of being like, I'm cutting down on carbs versus cutting down on fat versus blah, 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 blah. But I am down 2.8 pounds this week. I did do the three day refresh. I also modified my last day. So, um, meaning I did eat some, um, eggs on the three day refresh day three and a little bit of cheese. So it was good. It was good overall for sure. Um, I feel awesome. I actually feel a little bit like I'm on speed, uh, because I'm really energized. I was likened the other day to jet fuel. I mean, I don't really feel like jet fuel, but I do like feeling happy. So that's good. Okay. Other things in terms of my goals for uh, countdown to Nashville is, so I am seven pounds down since the beginning of the year. That's a pound a week. I mean, that's on average. Um, I'm a little sad that it was 11 point something in the first three weeks, but it is what it is. It's still down. I'm 34. You know, I changed, I talked last week about changing my goal from 60 workouts to 80 before Nashville. I'm 34 workouts in out of 80. So I've got, what is that? Like 46 workouts left. Woohoo! Almost there. Um, also I have to say my body's feeling better. I did C to 5k for like a week and a half did not work. But all of a sudden, um, I ran on the stand on Saturday. It was really rough. Um, no one tells you that running on the stand is really hard. Turns out, um, I am going to try again. I bought really nice and very expensive new shoes. So I am going to try it again, but I'm going to try to wait for the weather to clear up and try it again from there and try running outside on the softer track with just a little bit more cushion. And if that still continues to hurt my hip after I may give it like two or three more runs, if it still continues to hurt my hip, my body is not made for running and I, and I give up. Um, and that's, I'm okay with that. I will have made a solid, solid effort. As of now, though, my back and hip are both feeling pretty good. Um, it hurt Saturday. It hurt Sunday. I woke up Monday, really actually Tuesday. I woke up Tuesday and I was like, like I, can, I can move. I can get out of bed. It was amazing. Um, let's see. Um, still no drinking. So my goals for Nashville was to lose 28 or 29 pounds. It's 28 pounds. Um, down 7, 21 to go. 34 out of 80 workouts. 46 to go. Um, zero drinking. I've been dreaming about drinking though. I have dreamt about drinking this whole time. And the dream, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in previous videos, so pardon me if I'm redundant. The dream is always the same. Um, I forget that I'm doing the bet with Tessa and I drink something and it's like usually my like first or second sip in and I'm like, shit. But last night I dreamt that I was with like four or five other people and Kent was with me. And four or five other people were there, and they pour, all opened the bottle of wine and poured us all a glass, and I drank my glass. And then it wasn't until the second glass of wine came around, and I was on my first, I had a sip of the second glass, and I remember holding the glass and then looking at Kent and being like, and he's like, what? And I just am like holding the glass out, like my wine glass being like, I mean, I couldn't even talk, like I'd forgotten. And he's like, oh, no, you deserve this concession you know, you're okay. It's fine. I said, no, I've lost the bet. Like I have to tell Tessa, I can't lie. And, um, he's like, no, no, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, he has my, you know, he wants to protect me. Like he doesn't want me to lose the bet, but he also would be like, if you just had a sip, it'd be okay. And whereas I'm like, no, that's not the, that's not the deal. Like, so that was a weird dream and it's bothered me a little bit today, but I will say this. I went to bed last night and Kent is so proud of me for not drinking. I've never gone this long without drinking since I started having a social life in my late 20s. <laughs> I think I've not gone seven weeks without drinking. So um, not that I drank a lot then. I was probably still only once every couple weeks, like out at a happy hour. But um, yeah, I mean, it was at least once a week at some surgery. And there were definitely times where I was drinking more days than not um, in the last couple years. So He's really proud of me. And he also said something very interesting. He goes, I, he goes, I feel like, I feel like you've taken off like seven years. Like you look amazing. And I was just like, what? Um, also my scale, I still have like, I'm still 200 pounds, but my scale measures body fat. And I'm confused by this. So tell me how crazy this is. Because I think an average woman's body fat percentage is between 18 and 22%, right? Right? Like, ideally. My scale is telling me that I'm like 23.8% body fat, 
43% muscle, 6.4% bone, and then, you know, 40, 30 something percent water. Doesn't that seem weird? I, it seems weird. It seems low. It seems like the 23 point, you know, and change percent body fat would be higher. I'm going to email my clinic and see what my measurements were last time. Um, that's all my update for you guys. I have been fucking kicking ass on wedding planning. So you guys have been asking me about that video. I don't really know what to share about it. I mean, I can tell you what I've done. Um, but I don't know how that's helpful. So if you guys have a specific thing you want me to talk about about wedding planning, let me know. I can talk about it all day long. I love it. I'm having the best time ever. Super fun. Um, I can show you some of my invites I've gotten samples for. That'd be fun. Um, anyway, that's pretty much my update. Ten minutes. Woohoo! I'm so fucking rad. See? Jet fuel. All right. Love you guys. Have a keep it fly out there. I will be back tomorrow. Keep an eye out for me. Bye. I'm still recording. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> I don't know.